Um, so you might not be psychologists, but you and nobody else in this building, I'm pretty sure, hopefully, has been in a room with someone who's committed these kinds of atrocities. That must be quite a moment. Yeah, I mean, that is a question people ask. How do you cope with yeah. that? And people put that question in a lot. And, and one of the things is, I don't just actually have to uh, go in and see the bodies. When I was in the police, I would see the, the, the victims, mm. what's been done to them. I see the person that's done it, if we catch them, which yeah. more times they do. And then I have to see the families and speak to the families and explain. And they say, why did they do that? Yeah, and, and that's the thing. And, and that is the big thing there. Um, I mean, that is the thing people can never understand. And and there, there's quite a lot of, you know, there's a nature nurture thing. You know, was it where they brought up and, mm. you know, early years intervention. There's a programme on just now uh, on a channel uh, and it's the Becoming Ian Brady. It's a three part series. And, oh, you know, I know I know who made that. I know that. Uh, I haven't yes, watched yes, it yet. I, but I'm, I know on who that. Made... I'm on Are that. Are you on it? Oh, yes, okay, I'm yeah, on yeah, it. I'm I narrating it yet. quite a bit on that. And, yeah. and, you know, I'm conscious I don't know if you can mention the names of companies on BBC. But yes, I know who made it and you know who made yeah. it as well. And, it's, it's, it's really well put together but for people that are watching it and I know a lot of people have been watching it you'll find it interesting the different perspectives of professionals that yeah. talk about why the horrible well, killer that makes killed sense because you all come at it from a different point of view there'll be people and I'm, this is broad brush strokes okay broad brush strokes yep. there'll be the people like you who are doing the pounding of the pavements investigation and then there are the people who may be coming at a later date and it's not that their contribution is any less less valid at all but they're coming from it from perhaps a more neutral scientific point of view from textbooks and psychology um so it kind of makes sense that depending on where you've come in at the investigation you're going to have a different take on it yeah i mean don't get me wrong, it's not just about the police and, and that's one of the things I always believed in when mm. I was a, a senior investigating officer and just now with the work that I'm doing in, for families that are killed abroad in mm. Spain we use experts, you know and, and I'm a great believer in using experts because for years the old police you know, days where it was all about the police but now we use experts we use psychologists, we use profilers so everyone has a part to play um, but sometimes you do get in true crime where people are in these true crime programmes or true crime podcasts where they've got no experience of what they're talking about no, no, no. and that's the thing they're not victim focused and that's that yeah it's comes cashing in on oh I'll do yes. a podcast because I can sit in my room yes. and record something yes. no I have a podcast but my podcast is well, a bit you're different a police officer yeah, yeah ex-police officer